everyone. I am Linda with Linda's Rocky Mountain Finds, and I am back with a Jean haul video. Sorry I haven't put out uh, any haul videos in a couple of weeks, but I really haven't been picking that much and a few things here and there. But um, I just ha really had to focus on getting caught up with my death piles, I guess, um, and uh, get caught up a little bit. And so that's pretty much what I was doing. Um, but there was, Goodwill had their 99 cent uh, Jean blowout sale this past weekend, and ARC uh, thrift stores had their 99 cent summer sale. And so what I'm going to show here are all the jeans. I did get some shirts and stuff at ARC, but um, they've already been moved upstairs. So I thought I'd do a pretty much a jean only haul. So if you're not at all into clothing or jeans, uh, probably not the video for you. I'll try to get back to uh, haul videos that have the hard goods uh, next weekend. And uh, hopefully I'll find some stuff and we'll be able to put out uh, that type of video then. So anyway, let's delve into it because I have about 60 pairs of jeans I picked up for 99 cents. So uh, we've got is a first pair. I've never bought this before, cost jeans. I don't even know if it's very good, but it was 99 cents. Had nice embellishment on the back pockets. Real good quality, or not quality, but uh, real good uh, condition. No wear on them. So I thought I'd give them a chance for 99 cents. That's the nice thing about 99 cent sales is you can pick up stuff and even if you only end up selling it for eight, ten dollars plus shipping. You're still going to make a profit. So uh, I thought I'd give those a try, see how they do. I think I did check the comps afterwards, and they weren't that great, so they'll probably be on the lower end. So definitely not a bolo there. But next is another one because it was 99 cents. Uh, I thought I'd try it. These appear to be vintage, made in the USA, bongo. I haven't looked them up at all yet. So I had a very light wash stone wash I guess but it was an interesting button fly because normally with the button flies you don't see it like you don't actually see the buttons because there's that flap on the outside but here uh, you actually see it so it was kind of a unique style vintage made in the USA here's the inside tag um, go the right direction here so um, good condition there is no issues with them so thought I'd give them a try I haven't checked the comps at all on them yet so ladies in a organized matter my employee will be here this afternoon and will be measuring jeans so next is a pair of Old Navy Rockstar I know uh, Lindy Glenn loves the Old Navy Rockstar I don't know that I've actually ever picked any up, so I remembered her saying that when I saw the pair. Real good condition. There's no distressing or anything on them, but for the people that don't want the distressing, real good condition. Uh, very little wear, and uh, we'll see how those do. But yeah, I know Lindy loves them, so. Next is a pair of Miss Me. Love finding the Miss Me's, especially at a buck a piece. Uh, it's got the typical embellishment on the back rhinestones um, Miss Me I'm sure you all know about the Miss Me but if not good brand from what people say they, they've been coming down a bit in value they're not as popular but I'm still getting 25 to 35 a piece for them so let's see here this is Maurice's premium um, I'll look in the back embellishment on the front as well the front little pocket tag um, the one thing that I'm looking out for lately too is the, the thick stitch so or thick white stitch so it's got that thick stitching that's very popular right now um, I look for that in the BKEs and the uh, big stars and uh, pretty much any decent brand um, that, that tends to give it a little bit more value when it's got that thick white stitching and they're easy to spot on the racks uh, Nine West, um, not you know a super high-end brand for 99 cents. It's got the thick white stitching, embellished back pockets, good condition, very little wear. And uh, there's the tag. Alright. Next is a pair of Levi's Comfort Fit 560 jeans. Got these ones. 99 cents, but they are the, made it in the USA, so they're a vintage pair. I don't know how the 560s do. I've never actually looked them up, 
but the other nice thing about this was size 44 so it had it has the made in USA vintage aspect it has the size 44 and their Levi's um, so it's 44 32 so just the size alone makes those nice Maurice's another pair of Maurice's these aren't premium I actually uh, may actually try these on they're uh, my size 13 14 short uh, um, Maurice's got the little embellishment on the back thick white stitch a little bit of distressing not, not a lot it's got that faded the fading distress going on actually it's kind of a nice fading so uh, grabbed those ones it's hard not to just grab everything at 99 cents I mean you can hardly go wrong Another pair of the big Levi's, size 44, 44, 32, and these are these are not made in the USA, but they are the 560 loose fit tapered leg. But I grabbed them because they're Levi and size four, uh, size 44, so big size, big size to sell. Next is Gap denim. I think I just grabbed them because they were Gap denim. They're easy fit. Is what it says. I didn't even look them up for 99 cents. Um, nice uh, condition. So, you know, they're, they're probably not going to be high end. They're probably going to be like eight bucks plus shipping. Here's a pair of the Gap uh, 1969 Skinny. Um, here's the uh, Gap 1969 Skinny, 32 by 34. So once again, only because they were 99 cents. Next was I was I even said to the cashier, I'm not sure if these count as jeans. There, but uh, I was going to pay the normal price anyway. Actually, the normal price would have been half off because it was 50% off everything else. So it would have been 250, but he gave them to me for the jean price and 99 cents. Patagonia. Whoa! It's not the computer off. A better place. All right. Sorry about that. Patagonia. Never say no to Patagonia, especially at 99 cents. And these are just a basic uh, khaki pair of, uh, I don't know, thing, I guess hiking, camping, or casual. Here's a pair of. These are very worn, distressed, grunge, holes in the pant Levi's. Levi's five. The label is so worn; it's hard to even see. Five o. I'm not sure. Five o something's. Let's see here. Let's say somewhere else. I'll have to I'll have to look a little closer. But they were just so grunged up. And there are people out there that like the old, torn, distressed Levi jeans. They've got the major holes in the knees. So for 99 cents, I thought I'd give it a shot. Grunge in the title, heavy distress, um, and see what they do. Next is a pair of Orvis. I love finding Orvis. I don't the pants generally don't do incredibly great, but for 99 cents, a pair of Orvis jeans, I will buy those all day long. And uh, I think they may be a bit vintage too. Looking at the, uh, the back label, let's see here. For size 16. Uh, trying to see whether they're made in India, so I don't know if they're vintage or not, but they do have wear, they've got holes, so they're distressed. So I don't know how well these will actually do, but for 99 cents, I wasn't going to put back a pair of Orvis, so went ahead and grabbed them. Next is a pair, what is this? Canyon River Blues. I think I must have looked this one up because I don't know this brand at all. Here's the inside label. Here's the uh, the back. So I think I looked it up and I must have liked what I saw. Um, basically for 99 cents, I'm just looking to see if they sell. As long as they sell for $8 plus shipping, I'm okay with that. So went ahead and grabbed them. So that'll be a new brand for me to try. So stay tuned to uh, see whether that's something decent to pick up or just good on 99 cent days. Next is another brand I've never heard of, Dodica. Dodica Genuine Jean. 
Uh, here's the inside tag. Never seen that before. And uh, what they look like. So they're they're clearly a baggy type bag. Here's the back tag on them. Um, they have that baggy look, so I don't know if uh, maybe they're a skateboarder brand, you know, like the the, the Jenkos or or what. They're size 40, 34, so 34 and seams. So they're a nice large size, made in Pakistan. So totally brand new. I have no idea. I'm thinking I must have either looked them up and liked what I saw or just decided to grab them and go at 99 cents and and learn. So, you know, nothing else. It's 99 cents to learn a little bit. Next is another brand I didn't know, Lion's Crest. Oh, no, actually, I do know this. Lion's Crest by English Laundry. Uh, English Laundry, I've sold the uh, the shirts. Um, they don't do as well as they used to. They're the ones they kind of have that, real, they can have real wild colors and embroidery and stuff on them. Sort of like the Robert Graham, um, but they don't sell for as much as the, the Robert Graham's not as popular now. But... For 99 cents, I thought I'd grab the jeans. I've never gotten a pair of their jeans before. It's got their little uh, lion crest on the pocket there. So, you know, I'm thinking for 99 cents, I can I can make a profit on those. So, next, LL Bean favorite jean. You know, how can you not buy something that's called the favorite jean? Everyone's favorite, right? So there's the thing, but I, what I really liked about these is the size. Uh, they're women's 26W. So there's the, uh, the inside LL Bean label. Women's 26W. So we've got a plus size. Plus sizes sell well. And uh, there we go, a pair of jeans. So I don't think I'll have any trouble selling those. I'm thinking I'll probably get 15, plus, 15 or more plus the shipping on those. Start a second pile. All right. Not Your Daughter's Jeans. I'm now limiting what I buy of Not Your Daughter's Jeans at one point a few months ago as buying all I found, but um, I think the market's getting pretty saturated on them. So now I'm looking for pretty much size 14 and up, and this is a size 14 for 99 cents. I went ahead and grabbed them. Nothing fancy on them. Uh, I, I personally like the Not Your Daughter's Jeans, um, but I don't think these are short, and I need short. So, I have a couple friends that like them as well, so I'll probably uh, see if they may want them as well. Next, another pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans. This is an older brand. It doesn't have the current purple label. This has got that older black label. Um, but they are still the ones that are made in the USA. I only get the ones that are made in the USA. There's complaints on the ones that were made elsewhere. And these are black. And uh, what, so what's the size? Si uh, size 14, and they're black. Very basic. A little bit of bling down the sides. Actually, there's more embellishment than I realized. We've got little uh, stones all the way down the legs, and then a little along the trim. A lot of the stones are missing, so these aren't going to sell for a lot. And I'll probably try to get 8 to 10 plus the shipping on them. Next, J. Jill. But nice thing about these, new with tags. J. Jill, new with tags, 99 cents. Yes, please. Uh, they uh, are rolled up at the bottom. But I think they're uh, I think they're actually uh, cropped, cropped capri style. But J. Jill, new with tags, just a size 10P. Are they cropped? I don't know. I'll have to check the measurement on them, but they do look pretty short, even for petite. So they're probably a cropped capri. So, yes, new with tags, I'll take that. I've got a few new with tag items. Uh, Loren, Ralph Loren jeans. Uh, I've done pretty well selling the, the green label Lauren Ralph Lauren jeans. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed the ones that I could find, 99 cents. Very basic, size 12. So, but yeah, the, the, the green label Lauren Ralph Lauren jeans that I've gotten have usually sold pretty quickly for me. So at around $20 plus shipping, $15, $20 plus shipping. 
Coldwater Creek, 14P. There we go. Very basic, and I'm actually going to try these on. That's my size, 14P. So if they don't fit me, I will sell them. Should be able to get 10 to 15 plus shipping on those. What are these? Lee. Uh, is vintage Lee? I don't think these are vintage. But Lee, size 4232. So good size. Very little wear. They're still very, very dark. Not what faded out or anything. So 99 cents. Maurice's, another pair of Maurice's, size 16 regular. Some embellishment on the back pockets. Uh, these definitely have some wear. They have that broken in feel. Again, for 99 cents. Next is another pair of J. Jill. I think I'm going to kind of speed up here. It's probably getting a little boring. J. Jill, size 16 petite. Uh, not a lot of wear on these. Dark wash. Very basic. The, the original price on these were $7. So they didn't sell them for seven, so I got them for 99 cents. Another pair of the older, not your daughter's jeans. This is, I think, like their older original tag, maybe. Uh, got that one on the back pocket as well. And size, what are the size on these? 16. So. Next, another pair of Coldwater Creek Natural Fit. Coldwater, Coldwater Creek has a following, so you know, they're not high end. You're not going to get $25, $30 for them or anything, but size 16. There's the label. Just nice basic jeans. No embellishment. Next, another pair of J. Jill New with Tags. There's the new with tags there, so J. Jill new with tags, 99 cents. Yes, please. Levi, 550s. Um, must have got these for, oh yeah, I got these for the size, size 42. So good size, Levi, 550. So I got a lot of these bigger Levi, uh, Levi jeans. I don't know if I'll lot them up. I probably won't. I hate lotting clothes up. Such a pain to have to describe and photograph and everything. Uh, let's see what do we have here. Tag. Do we have a tag? Get. Oh, these are guess. Okay, guess. Oh, there it is. There's the tag. Um, I don't know if these. I think I thought these might be vintage. Uh, they're not made in the USA. I don't think. No, made in Mexico. Here's the uh, the inside tag label. Um, they don't have the, the triangle gas on the back, which are the ones I like to find, but I don't know, they just had an old, older look to them, so for 99 cents, I grabbed them and put them in the basket. Next is Levi Natural, or wait, no, Levi Relaxed Straight 559s, size 3230. Um, not actually sure why I grabbed these ones. They're not a big size. I don't know how the 559s do. So uh, I think maybe I was just in a grabbing frenzy. So I have to check and see how the 559s do. Let's see, what is this? Oh, Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply. There's the back. We've got some uh, distress going on in the front, fading, and uh, slouch is the style in size 32, 34. And so let's see how those do. I haven't sold the, de the Ralph Lauren denim jeans before, so Lee Classic Fit. Uh, very basic. Um, they look like they're older. They might be vintage. The tag's really faded, so I can't see where they're made yet. I'll have to look at it closer. But very basic. Lee jeans. No distressing. 
This pair is a pair of Vintage Lee, because these are made in the USA, very light wash, high rise. So, the uh, Vintage jeans, they have their people that love them, so they usually sell okay. American Eagle Stretch. Uh, this, the, the 99 cents is the price point I like for buying American Eagle. They're, they definitely have a following, following. They sell well, but not for a high price point usually, um, unless there's something special about them. So I uh, try to get them for, you know, the garage sales for a buck or the 99 cent sales. So got a pair right there. And another pair. American Eagle. No distressing. I think American Eagle can tend to do better if it has a lot of the distressing. It does have the fading on the front, but no holes and stuff, but for 99 cents. I should put another $10 in my pocket. Uh, Source of Wisdom. This is a brand I had not seen before. Source of Wisdom. Um, so either I grabbed them just because they looked interesting. Got some of the, the fading going on. Not much embellishment, but uh, so either I looked them up and liked what I think. Yeah, I think I did look them up. They are size 18 too, so it's a good size women's jean. So that's the first time I've seen it. So there is a lot of wear in the, um, the crotch thigh area, so I may not list them. I don't like listing them when they have a lot of wear down in that area. Um, if it's just a little bit, then that's no big deal, but if there's a lot... And that, that actually did look a little little heavy. So I may not even list those, but I will research them and find out if it's something to keep an eye out in the future. Gap 1969 Relay X. Basic jeans. We're almost done. Guess. Guess jeans. These ones have got uh, the flap pockets. It's an, an unusual style jean. Sometimes the unusual can do a little bit better. Guess. I don't know if they're vintage guess. I have to find the tag. And doesn't have, again, doesn't have the triangle. Um, they seem to have, a, I don't know if it's manufactured distress or just a lot of wear, but we'll see. Floran Ralph Floran. Real nice dark wash. Very little wear on these. Uh, size 8P. Loran Ralph Loran again. Inside label, outside hatch. With basic jeans. Here, Miss 60. I think I've sold a pair of Miss 60 before. I think these are, boy, these are tiny. Uh, they're made in Italy. So I see a pair of jeans made in Italy. I'm going to grab them for 99 cents. They are very little, though. So I don't know if they're kids. I don't think I looked at them that closely. I just saw Miss 60 made in Italy, and I threw them in the basket. Um, size 28. So, okay, so they're European size 28. They must be cropped because they're super short. So... Gap 1969, loose, 32 by 30. Nothing special. Basic bread and butter. Look up here. J. Crew. J. Crew, super dark wash. No distressing. But for 99 cents, J. Crew should do okay with. Very little wear. There's like no wear in these. They actually look brand new. Here's a pair of guests. It does have the uh, the classic triangle, but I don't know that if these are vintage or not. They're uh, made in Brazil. There's the inside tag. So I need to research whether these are vintage or not. Uh, very dark wash. They feel like brand new. There's like no wear on these. You know that feel that denim has when you buy them? That that very stiff. That's how they feel. So uh, I don't know that those were ever worn. So I'll take those. There's a big pair of LL Bean 26Ws. So that plus size women's LL Bean jean. And holy crap! Look at the uh, 
Look at the rise on these. That is some mom jeans right there. If I had my, oh, I do have my measuring tape. Let's just see what the, uh, the rise is on these. Fif Fifteen and a half rise on these babies. So some nice 26W plus size mom jeans. I don't know if I'll get those on a padded flat right. Lane Bryant straight. So another plus size. Gotta love the plus size jeans. They sell well. Uh, let's see. Size 24. That's where I start. When I hit the 99 cent sale, I go straight for the uh, the biggest size. I just get as many of the uh, the plus size that I can before they get snatched up, and then work my way down to the lower sizes. Another plus size, Lane Bryant, size 28, regular on these. And next, Maurice's, 1718 long, thick stitch, embroidered embellishment on the back pockets. Levi Strauss 550, they're short. Relaxed fit, tapered leg 18. Well, that's interesting. The tax is 18 regular short. Which, which is it, regular or short? So, basic, basic jeans. Down to the last few. Banana Republic boot. Very basic, nothing special about them, but they're Banana Republic. Not super high end. Gap 1969 straight. Pretty basic again, just more bread and butter. Page, um, size 30. Picked up a pair or two of Page. I'm trying to think if I've sold them though. I think maybe I've sold a pair and I have a pair left. Nothing fancy about them. But just a lot of bread and butter here. Not high-end stuff. Nothing I'm going to make 30 or more on. Here's BKE Stella. I have been doing really well with the BKE. Uh, so I was glad to find another pair of them. We've got some little rhinestone embellishment going on in the back. Nice fading down the front. So I'll do okay with those. But these ones I may get, you know, like closer to 22 to 25 plus shipping is pretty much what I'm getting with the uh, the BKEs. Guess Los Angeles Falcon regular boot. So it's nice when they give a very specific style of what it is because it's easy to look up comps then. So this is Falcon regular boot. There's the label. Got flat pockets with buttons. Real nice condition, very little wear. And da, 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 last pair. Big star. Big star, thick stitch. Um, Maddie boot cut. I think I have another pair or two of the Maddie. I don't think I've sold them yet, though, but um, there we go. So that was the jeans that I picked up at 99 cent sales at the Goodwill and the Art Thrift. Um, a lot of stuff for me and my employee to measure and to photograph and get them listed. It'll probably take me a couple of weeks to get them all listed uh, just because I tried to do a mixture of some clothing for a while and hard goods for a while. I still have a lot of you know other stuff that I need to get to. And uh, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. This video is now a half hour long just on jeans. So I uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, hit the like button if somehow you liked the 30 minutes worth of jeans. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You can find me on Instagram. I post a couple times a day, usually, at Linda's Rocky Mountain Finds underscore um, between each word. Or you can just look down in the description, and I've got it down there, my info. So thank you so much for watching. And I will hopefully be back next week uh, with a... Uh, sorry, my cat's distracting me. Uh, back next week with a uh, haul video of 
hard stuff, so, of uh, you know, non-clothing. So keep an eye out for that, and I will see you all soon. Thanks again.